Hello again. Hello and welcome to half an hour of frivolous flippancy containing a great deal of fiction and quite a bit of fact. Master of both, Mr. Alan Corrin. Oh, thank you, Bob. Hello. Whom do I have on my left today? I have today on my left today. Oh. I have the very flag of Radio 4's flagship. Will you welcome, please, Sue McGregor. Well, on my right, I have the other end of Radio 4. <laughs> I, I have the evening star. Even though he hasn't a clue, would you welcome, please, Tim Brooke Taylor. And likewise, audaciously adept at dispensing both fact and fiction, Ms. Sandy Toxvig. Oh, hell no. I am frankly worried about my first guest. When she was Mavis Wilton, she could never make up her mind, and this is not a good quality for this game. <laughs> but perhaps it'll be all right as she's here in her other guise as that splendid actress, Thelma Barlow. <laughs> The guest is equally concern-making. Uh, the number of times I've heard him say that he hasn't got a clue leaves me desperate today. Would you please welcome, anyway, Graham Garden. Now, of course, the rule. Alan's team are going to begin by defining a word three different ways. Two of them are bluffs and one is true. Sandy's team must try to work out which it is. Now, the first word today, Swayamvara. Alan. Swayamvara. Yes. Well, as you can probably guess from my hairstyle, I have often toyed with the idea of becoming a Buddhist. Yes. Not simply because this would stop Sandy making awful slaphead jokes out of proper <laughs> theological sensitivity, but also because I could, for example, stop wearing these awful BBC jackets and garish ties. I could do Call My Bluff in a wonderful, cool, flowing, saffron yellow sheet. The other great thing is I could walk up and down Oxford Street all day, uh, ringing my... Little finger bells, not only bringing universal peace and love to thousands of shoppers, but also keeping my eye open for any sale bargains early on. And it may well be that Oxford Street should be renamed Swayamvara because that's what it almost literally means. Swayamvara is the road to Nirvana. It's the path to enlightenment for Buddhists. It's what we ought to call Oxford Street. Thank you. Sue. Swayamvara, it is Eastern. Uh, it's a sort of, I suppose, Eastern version of um, Blind Date. It's a great <laughs> idea. Now, consider yourself. You're a 30-something young woman. You haven't found a partner yet. You're very busy. All the chaps that turn up at other people's dinner parties aren't any good. Swayamvara means that you can get about 10 fellows all lined up. You can t tell the bored ones to go away. Tell the, sorry, uh, tell the very <laughs> fat ones to go away. Um, smelly ones you don't want. Oh. You see the man of your dreams, wow, yeah. Swayamvara, and you put a wonderful, you know, garland of whatever flowers you like round his neck, and you say, you're the one for me, and it often works, I'm told. I think more of us should do it. That's mm. Swayamvara. Interesting. Mm. Right. Tim. Swayamvara, the Gurkhas are splendid people, uh, brave soldiers with their cookery knives. Kukri knives. I once taught history to, to young boys, and the only way I could get them across was to tell them about the Gurkhas slashing at their opponents with their Kukri knives, and their opponents saying, missed. And the Gurkha would say, shake your head, and the head fell off. It was the, it was the only history they ever learned. I once danced with a Gurkha. Um, it was in Hong Kong, and we'd had a few. Um, and it was the hokey cokey, so no contacts. Um, and it was, I often wondered why this young English lad, for, could get all these tough guys from um, the hill tribes in Nepal, why should they serve under a young English boy? And apparently it's a great honor. And when they eat to serve in the British Army for, for the Gurkhas, when they leave, they're great celebrations. You are going off to die. No, you're not going to die. You're going to come back. And that is the point. Nepal is the only official Hindu kingdom. And such, they're very, very, very religious people. And what they do is this prayer of Swamvara, please come back again. It's a Hindu prayer of safe return. Right. So, in Buddhism, it's the path to enlightenment. It's a Hindu ceremony in which a woman chooses a husband. Or it's a Hindu prayer. Please come back again. Swayamvara. Sandy. I like this idea of you spreading universal love, Alan. It's no more than you do to the female staff at the hotels we stay in, so I think it um, <coughs> suits you. I see you as a little Buddhist. 
Tommy, <laughs> hanging over your sheet. Um. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you had somewhere to go after the ball joke. I know. Yes. <laughs> Don't think I wasn't thrilled. Um. <laughs> it's the path to Nirvana. It could be. It could be, is where I'm going to leave you there. Now then, Sue, where does this take place, this blind date? I missed where you said it took place. Well, here, but it, it's here. got an eastern origin. It's of eastern origin. So you send away the smelly one and the bald one and the fat one. You know where I'm heading, <laughs> yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the one bloke. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm not sure about this. I think it's, uh, it sounds dodgy. Now, I didn't quite hear of what kind of knives it was you said, Tim. Cookery, as in, as in ready, steady cookery. Cookery. <laughs> Cookery. Cookery. Oh, I just cookery imagined knife. it was some cooking thing. Yes. Those gurkhas fixing bayonets and going, ready, steady, cookery. I quite like that. Um, <laughs> There'll be a series in it, a series There is a series you know in it. <laughs> I like this incantation. Please come back again. It's what everybody says at the end of a BBC series. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's the image of Alan as a Buddhist. Am I going to go for the path to Nirvana on the grounds the others just seem a bit silly Alan? to me? <laughs> You're never going to get this out of your dreams. No. Even if I do that. Oh. Ah, right. So, it's got to be one of the two guests. Let's see who it is, shall we? You're kidding. It's a blind date. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done, Sue. There you go. <laughs> yes, indeed, a Hindu ceremony in which a woman chooses a husband. Swayamvara.